Hi, I'm Jill Livingston. I'm a professor of psychiatry of Aldage and I work in the division of psychiatry. I really want to know what works for people with dementia and their families to make to prevent people developing dementia and to treat the symptoms. Dementia is the most important topic for the future for both, uh, the, uh, both high income countries but also for low and middle income countries because of the, the welcome decrease in premature mortality. People are living longer and that means they're much more likely to develop dementia. Then they become dependent, need to be looked after by their families and eventually by society. So for individuals, people in society, it makes all the difference. That's why it's a priority in the UK, Europe and the world today. One of the things I've been doing is the START project, that's to, that stands for Strategies for Relatives, and it's to enable families to have coping strategies to look after people with dementia. And um, we found some time ago that that worked and that the people that, who had the intervention were a fifth as likely to be depressed, the carers, as those that didn't have it. That makes a huge difference. Um, we've now uh, just finished the six-year follow-up and not only are people remaining just as well, they're still continuing to use the coping strategies that we showed them and the ways of managing, uh, but the cost of looking after the person they care for is about a quarter of the non-intervention group. So that's, we're pleased about that, that's really good. I'm quite involved in education at, at a variety of levels. So, um, Clinically, I have medical students who um, come to my clinical base. Um, I also teach master's students and taught some this morning uh, in a module in our dementia and mental health MSc students come there from both. Um, and I have PhD students. First of all, I'd say to them a good choice. It's interesting. Um, people not only live long but they work for long and you're going to work for even longer uh, because the, because younger people are and um, and research is really interesting because there's always new questions and new thoughts and new information so it's a good choice because if you keep doing the same thing without variety you'll get bored. Secondly I'd say find someone to help you and supervise you and make sure you can really get on with them and like them because if, while you're doing your masters and your PhD and your dissertation you're going to spend more time with them than you ever have with any other teachers before so you have to make sure that you can get on understand each other and spend time together. UCL um, is a great place for people interested in research. First of all it's one of the great research universities in the United Kingdom with some of the best research Second of all, it's multi-faculty and we're not as siloed as most places so you can uh, find experts who will work with you and together with you um, in lots and lots of different fields and uh, really begin to move things forward by using different uh, expertise. And thirdly, there's the culture. UCL is absolutely committed to diversity. Uh, it allowed women in long before Oxford and Cambridge, for example, um, and it continues to work in that way. It's, uh, it has a culture which promotes merit regardless of age, gender, sexuality um, and ethnic origin, so it's a great place to be. I recently led the Lancet Commission on Dementia um, Prevention, Intervention and Care, which was an international commission with 24 experts from different countries. And for the first time, uh, we uh, had a lifestyle uh, model for prevention of dementia. And I think that the results of that were really exciting. We found that at different stages in the lifestyle, people could do different things to prevent dementia. So it's never too early and it's never too late. And we found that 35% of dementias were preventable. I think that's amazing. And I wasn't the only person who thought it was amazing. It's an, all been on all TV channels and all newspapers and all websites nationally and internationally. And I think we can really change what's happening to people with dementia. We've cha we can change what happens in society. People know they can make a difference. Public Health England is consulting about 
implementing our findings. Uh, there's questions being raised, early day motions in Parliament about it. So it's really exciting and it can really make a difference. And there's no other thing, nothing apart from science, that you can really make a difference to lots of people in the future. I wouldn't tell you anything surprising about myself, but certainly not on camera here today, so no, I can't.